Have you ever been caught in a traffic jam and dreamed of being able to take it to the skies? This fantasy is a collective thought which has been inherited from scientific and fictional movies. But science and technology are now transforming this dream into reality. You can own a flying car within a few years from now. Yes, you heard it right. Let's see how it became possible. History of flying cars. A flying car or roadable aircraft is a type of vehicle that can function both as a personal car or automobile or as an aircraft. Ever since the car was invented, man has dreamt of taking it to the skies. Many attempts and experiments are made. Some became partly successful, some did not. The first internal combustion car was invented in the year of 1885. You might be thinking, attempts to make the flying car must be made after that. But the interesting part is that the first concept of the flying car appeared almost 50 years earlier when William Samuel Henson and John Stringfellow patented the first flying concept car, the Ariel, the Henson Ariel steam carriage in 1843. It was powered by steam engine and the size was disproportionate since it had wings of more than 45 meters in length, but soon their inventors worked on a smaller model. They failed in making the car fly. However, this can't be considered a flying car because there is no mechanism for folding the wing when it runs on the road. The first attempt to make a flying car was made in 1917 by Glenn Curtis, who could be called the father of flying car. It was a hybrid between automobile and airplane, that is, autoplay. It has a pair of wings, a rudder, and a propeller. The car's motto drove a four-bladed propeller at the rear of the car. The autoplay never truly flew, but it did manage a few short hops. In 1937, a formal prototype appeared and managed to fly. This car, the Aerobike, developed by Waldo Waterman, became the first flying car in history. The Aerobile had removable wings and no tail was attached to it. The car could be converted into both an airplane and a car and the rear propeller kept it in any mode. It could fly at 180 km per hour and in a car mode it reaches 96 km per hour. Six units were manufactured until production ceased in 1957. First probo attempt took place in 1945 when American inventor Robert Edison Fulton built an aeroplane called Airphibian. It looked like a proper airplane, but the only difference was the front part of it that could be detached. It took about 5 minutes to convert it into a car. The resulting car looked like the front of a plane. It got flight certification from Civil Aviation Authority, but the problem was that because of compromise in design, it was neither a good plane nor a good car. After that, many attempts were made and research is still going on on this topic. Klein Vision's air car, first ever intercity flight. It is the most modern and recent attempt to design a proper flying car. Air car, launched by Klein Vision, completed a historic 35 minutes flight between two international airports in Slovakia on June 28. With a crushing speed of 190 km per hour covering a distance of approximately 100 km, the vehicle is a dual mode car aircraft that has grabbed the attention of netizens around the world. The air car prototype is built by Slovakian company Klein Vision. Stephen Klein has been working on the prototypes for 30 years. This was the 142nd takeoff landing of the aircraft, but its first flight between two cities. Specifications of air car. It was a two seat model which weighs 1100 kg and can carry an additional load of 200 kg per flight. Powered by a BMW 1.6 liter engine, the car plane has an effective power output of 140 horsepower. The estimated travel range of air car is 1000 km and the flight consumption of 18 liter per hour. As it uses the same IC engine of car and consumes same fuel for flying unlike other aircraft which uses special fuel. So it's very efficient. A flying car that transforms from a road vehicle into an air vehicle in less than 3 minutes. It has a dual mode transformation 
by which the vehicle can go from driving to flying mode with the click of a button. Air car takes you from ground to sky with a takeoff of 300 meter, reaching speeds up to 200 km per hour. Research and Development of Air Car In research and development, Klein Vision paid special attention to the aerodynamics of the flying car to ensure enough space for the passengers and at the same time to contribute to better lift characteristics during the flight. Simulation methods and design optimization have been used throughout the entire research and development stage. Simulation based on the computational fluid dynamics analysis were carried out at VUT Brno in close cooperation with experts in aerodynamics led by robot Propella PhD and the finite element method is used for stress and load analysis. Among the advanced technologies used in cars are retractable wings, folding tail surfaces, parachute development system, etc. The folding tail surfaces contribute to better longitudinal stability and takeoff characteristics, just like in a conventional aircraft. However, a retracted tail results in a more compact size in the car mode. Xpeng Flying Car Chinese electric vehicle manufacturer Xpeng has introduced a flying car. The car made its first public flight in Dubai on 10th of October. The 90-minute test flight of the car was described as an important base for the next generation of flying cars by Xpeng. It was a two-seater electric vehicle takeoff and landing EVTOL aircraft that is lifted by eight propellers to each corner of the aircraft. However, it can't be considered as flying car as it has no wing, also can't run on road. It is more like big size drone. Future of flying cars. Much research is going on in different parts of the world to make the flying car more efficient, affordable, safe, easy to handle, etc. Advanced air mobility is an emerging industry that includes around 250 companies that are seeking to build flying vehicles. Now, that day is not so far when you awake and wide open your window and see people traveling in flying cars. But this will be a big challenge to the industries in how they'll ensure the safety of the passenger, adjust to the current infrastructure and traffic in air, etc.